What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. First of all, I just want to say congratulations. We all made it. It is the first week of spring, and we're getting really close to riding season, if not already for some of you. Uh, for me, it's a little dreary outside. It's kind of chilly. It's starting to sprinkle. No riding for me this weekend, but, um, but today we still have some content. I picked up four pairs of new gloves. Um, yep, four pairs. It's a little overkill, but... I will say it does allow me to try out some new gloves and figure out which one really works well for me. And I'm going to talk to you guys about, you know, what I like, what I don't like. You know how we do it on this channel. So I have all these gloves. They're all leather. But the first one that I'm going to show you today are these Harley Davidson commuter gloves. I've been able to take them out for a ride a few times. Again, it's kind of chilly. And these are really more spring, summer, fall-ish gloves. Um, but these are, are from Harley Davidson, $60. I bought them in medium, which is my glove size, and they fit perfectly. So the first thing I noticed about them is just the quality of the leather. These are pre-curved, so when you put them in, it already has a shape of your hand, kind of pre-curved. So really comfortable right off the bat. Don't need any break-in. I found that the stitching is just really nice. Haven't seen anything come undone, haven't seen any, any fraying or anything like that. Another thing that I like about these gloves are um, just the opening, just really nice big opening and then you have this stretchy band here that kind of gives you a little bit of a better fit. But the reason why I like that is very easy to put on. Some gloves are so tight you have to just squeeze your hand into them, but these fit really nicely. Another reason why I like it is because when you're wearing like a long sleeve shirt or jacket, it's very easy to tuck in. In terms of protection, not the most protective pair of gloves. So again, when I put these on, there's nothing in the knuckle. There's no hard compound. Same thing on the fingers. Uh, when you turn it around, there's a little bit of padding right where the palm is, but that's about as much protection as you're going to get. The other thing about these gloves is I feel like most gloves come with the touchscreen fingertip. And for $60, you do not get that with these gloves. So take it as you will. This might be one of the more comfortable pairs of gloves that I've owned. Another thing that I really do like about these gloves is that it's it's kind of like one piece of leather right here, goatskin leather. And so because you don't have a lot of the stitching or different designs like you will on some of the other gloves, it does keep you warm. Um, does, not a lot of wind gets through. So I would say this is like a three season glove. Um, you can definitely wear it in the spring, summer, and fall. If we're gonna rate these from a scale of one to five, one being atrocious to five being like absolute daily driver, I would say this is like a good 3.5. If it had a little more protection and the touchscreen tip, I would probably bump it up to like a four, four, four and a half. The next pair of gloves that I wanna bring up is from a brand called Aiken Moto, Aiken Moto. They are Australian based. I have the Aiken Blip Motorcycle Gloves in brown. These are supposed to emulate kind of like that second skin fit. These come with premium goat leather construction. These do have the touchscreen fingertips on both the index finger and the thumb. Really nice touch. Hook and loop closure with Velcro. But yeah, these are about $55 uh, in US, but then you also have to uh, pay for shipping, which costs about, I think it was by maybe 10, 10 or $15 or so. All said and done, it's kind of in that same 60 to $70 category, but let's go over the, the unique features of these gloves. What really struck me is the design. It's got that accordion design all the way through uh, from the fingertips all the way to your wrist and also on the thumb. When you put them on, it really does have a premium feel uh, on the palm. Uh, you really do get that second skin feel. On the downside of that, Again, as with the commuter gloves, not a whole lot of protection on the on the palm. If you're going for more of like style and comfort, these are these are pretty nice. So like I mentioned, you know, this does have that accordion style uh, design. What that does for me is that it's very comfortable, easy to grip uh, your throttle, you know, move your move your fingers around. If you look really closely, it just has a lot of stitching. It has a lot of stitching, which introduces uh, the wind, you know, that might be a good thing for some, that might be a bad thing for in different different uh, temperatures, but 
you know, in the spring and summer, I would say that's that's a welcome. But in the colder months, this is probably not going to be my glove of choice. So I've been able to wear them a few times and I can say they are very comfortable. Again, these are size medium, which are my glove size. And the one thing that I noticed is that when you put them on, it does have a very tight fit, uh, especially in the opening. I have thick palms. But then once you get them on, very comfortable. And you got that Velcro loop. This is perfect for like that cafe racer style. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, distinguished gentleman's ride for myself or, you know, when I'm trying to take some really nice photos of me and the bike, this will do the trick. And I never had a pair of brown gloves before, so this is a nice welcome change. I would say, you know, based on the price and the features, I would give it like maybe a three and a half. I, I really do like this accordion style feature, accordion style um, construction. I've never seen that before. I think that's pretty innovative. It adds to the comfort. So three and a half um, for me. The next pair of gloves is also from Aiken Moto. Now, I just got these, the tags are still on. So I haven't had a chance to ride with them yet, but I still do want to give you just like first impressions. Now, when I tried these on, the sizing is a little funny because these are also medium, but I find these to be a little bit more roomy than the blip gloves. What really drew me to these gloves is the styling on the back of the hand. Uh, it's supposed to be emulating that tuck and roll seat. And I also have a tuck and roll seat on my Lowrider S, so really like that. It does come with the touchscreen fingertips, which is nice. Again, there's a little bit of mesh uh, in the meat of your, uh, of your hand near your thumb. So you'll probably get a lot of wind coming through. It probably is a great spring summer glove. Similar to the Blip motorcycle gloves, it does have that like secondhand skin feel. Not a lot of protection. There's really no, not even padding. It's just a little slim layer of leather and that's it. They're really good if you need that dexterity, if you really need to feel the throttle. It's better than not having gloves in my opinion. A little bit more protection. But, um, but yeah, these are very comfortable. I haven't tried it out yet but because it's lacking a little bit of that protection, it does have a little bit of padding on the, the back of the hand, not a whole lot on the palm side. I give this a three and a half, close to a four, very close to a four. All right, the last pair of gloves. Now these are the ones that I was really interested in. I've been hemming and hawing. These are the most expensive pair on this uh, in this batch, but these are the Odin MFG Heavy Hitters 2.0. What really sold me on these two gloves are uh, two things. It, they have a magnet inside the, the cuff of the glove. Um, after you're done riding, you can just uh, attach them to the tank. Really nice feature there. Yeah, when you put these on, you can remove the fingers or at least the index finger and the thumb. So you, you can you know, access your phone, you can, you can check your maps, you can change your music. And what I really like about that is because uh, most gloves that I've tried, the touchscreen capability always sort of wears out. You know, you buy certain gloves knowing that it has touchscreen, but then it's gonna, you know, wear out. Uh, I love the aspect that you can just manipulate things with your fingers. That's what she said. It's got those two great things uh, that makes this this glove worthwhile for me. It's got a hard compound in the knuckles and in, near the fingers, through the joints of the fingers which is great for protection. And it also has some added stitching, diamond stitching on the palm. So very protective. I feel really good about these gloves. I would say these are probably going to be my daily drivers. Really nice soft leather quality. Um, it's thick enough where I think you can probably do three seasons. Uh, when you're getting close to winter, you know, it's probably not going to keep you as warm uh, as some thicker gloves could. But for three seasons, it's definitely worthwhile. These were about $80 for me. It's got a lot of branding on the on the gloves. It's got this little logo rubber uh, material. And then it's got this red tab that says Odin MFG. Another Odin MFG sign on the cuff with the Velcro. It's got Odin MFG on the, the pinky finger. So uh, labels and logos all throughout the gloves. Uh, is that overkill? In my opinion, yes, but you know, it's not a deal breaker for me by any means. Uh, one thing to note, these are medium sized gloves like all my other gloves are, but these were the toughest to put on for me. You can probably size up. I would have probably gone with a, a large because it's, it's, it's just really tight. And I know that it's going to break in, but still, 
uh, very tight for me from the get-go and what's tough about that is like the finger it's just really tough to uh, break out of this little break out of its sleeve I'm gonna keep these gloves I really like these gloves I've worn it for a few rides and they've been solid I tested out this feature while on the bike very handy these are for me five out of five uh, I would buy them in a heartbeat again if I were to lose them just the magnet feature alone you don't know how much you're going to want something until you actually have it it's such a nice little feature that when I'm off of the bike I take off my gloves I don't have to figure out like I don't have to open a bag put them in I can just attach them on the bike especially if I'm gonna be around the bike and I'm just kind of hanging out perfect for that scenario all right guys so that's the video for this week um, I've tested out four or you know th really three gloves and I just wanted to give you all an impression first impression on them I would definitely recommend all of the gloves I don't really think I have any buyer's remorse on any of those gloves which I'm really happy about but the Odin MFG do yourself a favor buy a pair of these gloves these are now my new favorite gloves uh, these are going to be my daily drivers until it gets a little bit too cold but for spring summer fall this is gonna work this is gonna work the magnet mwah, seals the deal for me but uh, but yeah that's the video thanks for joining me today I hope you all enjoyed it and until next time I'll see you all in the next video peace <laughs>